Good morning. Today we'll be doing the liturgy of the hours morning prayer for July 22nd. Today is Monday and we celebrate the feast of Saint Mary Magdalene. Let's have our moment of silence to prepare us for our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Very early in the morning after the Sabbath, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb just as the sun was rising. O oh God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you, like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise, so I will bless you all my life. In your name, I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed, I remember you. On you, I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings, I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Very early in the morning, after the Sabbath, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb, just as the sun was rising. My heart burns within me. I long to see my Lord. I look for him, but I cannot find where they have put him. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all, above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All your waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All your hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, Bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, 
bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. All Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men and humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. My heart burns within me. I long to see my Lord. I look for Him, but I cannot find where they have put Him. Alleluia. While Mary was weeping, she bent down to look into the tomb. She saw two angels seated there, clothed in white. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord. His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in his maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing, and make music with timbre and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy, and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips, and a two-edged sword in their hands. To deal out vengeance to the nations, and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in feathers of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is all his faithful. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. While Mary was weeping, she bent down to look into the tomb. She saw two angels seated there, clothed in white. Alleluia. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers, I beg you through the mercy of God to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable to God. Your spiritual worship, do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, so that you may judge what is God's will, what is good, pleasing and perfect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Happy Monday, brothers and sisters. Today, we are celebrating Saint Mary of Magdalene, the disciple of the Lord, that she converted when the Lord Jesus Christ cured her and cleaned her from all the sins. She became a follower of him. She fell in love with, the, with Jesus as a good example as how we also need to fall in love with, with the Lord. As we recall, she followed the Lord and she was with Mary, her mother. On the Passion, she accompanied her, watching the Lord and her Passion, His Passion, death, and also in the Resurrection. As we remember, she was the, the first one to go to the tomb early in the morning and found that the tomb was open. 
she didn't know what's happening, nor understood at that moment. But two angels appeared to her and also the risen Lord, asking her to go and tell the rest of the disciples that he was alive. So she became the first person to see him alive and experience the resurrection. So if we need to follow somebody, it will be her example. Not only that she was with the Lord, serving, listen to his word, and the more important, accompany the mother of the Jesus, the Savior. So this is an example of what we need to do as well. Follow him no matter what. And fall in love, fall in love, because if we fall in love with the Lord, we are willing to do whatever it takes in order to be with Him. So I invite you, brothers and sisters, to really meditate in the life of Mary and Magdalene and copy the good things that she did that we also can fall in love with the Lord and do everything that He has us to, to be fulfilled the message, the plan that God has for you, for me, and for all our brothers. So, as we continue these morning prayers, let's ask the Lord to give us, to increase us our faith and to give us the will to follow Him today, tomorrow, and ever. St. Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Mary, do not weep. The Lord is risen from the dead. Mary, do not weep. The Lord is risen from the dead. Go to my brothers and say to them, The Lord is risen from the dead. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Mary, do not weep. The Lord is risen from the dead. When Jesus had risen from the dead on the morning after the Sabbath, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven devils. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
When Jesus has risen, risen from, from the dead, dead on the morning after the Sabbath, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he cast out seven devils. My brothers and sisters, with all the holy women, let us profess our faith in our Savior and call upon Him. Come, Come Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you forgave the sinful woman because she loved much. Forgive, Forgive us who have, have sinned much. Lord Jesus, the holy women ministered to your needs during your journeys. Help, Help us, us to follow, follow your, your footsteps. footsteps. Lord Jesus, Master, Mary listened to your words while Martha served your needs. Help, Help us to serve you with love and devotion. Lord Jesus, you call everyone who does your will, your brother, sister, and mother. Help us to do what is pleasing to you in your words and action. Let us pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and everyone who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, we now pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Father, your son first entrusted to Mary Magdalene the joyful news of his resurrection. By her prayers and example, may we proclaim Christ as our living Lord and one day see him in glory. For he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.